fine. Like, you have to know, there's spots where you need to just know when to shield after you land, like, a stray hit. Um, where you're, they're gonna down smash. You know, you, and he didn't have any of those, like, those shields. Where it's just like, oh, the down smash is coming after this aerial? He didn't get any of those. He just caught every down smash. And that damage is just too much. You, you gotta just like, and that's like, I think a lot of that's just comfort, knowledge, I don't know. But, yeah. Just, you get, there's like little things, like little micro, like, you just have to be more aware. You just didn't have that. Oh, I, I think I do know Iggy Nieves. I've, I've seen him on Twitter, at least. Uh, Wait, how do you but, say the last part is Iggy what? I, Iggy Nieves? Mm -hmm. I, I think. Yes. I don't know. It depends on where he's from. I, that's how yeah. I've, I've never heard it out loud. I've only ever read it. And in my head, I read, read it Nieves. Nieves, yeah. I just assume it's like Hispanic or something. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, SCJ. Uh, a lot of experience specifically versus uh, Fox and Ice Climbers. <laughs> Because that's what we got in our region. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, he plays really weird, very atypically from normal puffs. He'll go for weird stuff, and he actually plays a ton of secondaries in uh, in like brackets in tournament, and it explains so much uh, about how he plays. Like watching him play Marth, and he's not doing any of the Marth stuff, but he's still beating you. What are you? Right. Yeah, he, he's the head TO of TNT in Super Smash Sundays too, I think. Or it Iggy. used to be Blur, but I think it's I think it's Iggy now. Let's go Iggy. What you got? Yeah. Um, so what does SGJ generally look for in this matchup? Oh man, he or looks how does he for play it? he looks he, he plays a lot of like he mixes up uh, staying away and frustrating the fox and then going for a crazy hard read. She okay. her. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Thank you. Well, she brought it back. It's looking pretty. Yeah. Drill. Okay. Yep. Ah. Overcommitment. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the fox life. Yep. No, that was very uh, bread and butter. So that's. <laughs> you know, that's it. I, I I said he played very atypically, and then he just did the thing. What you call? <laughs> I was in um in Discord with that's that when he played his. One of his, I think it's, was it TMT? One of them. Um, and he was playing SJ and he's like, this is weird. Like, so it's just funny that you said weird because that's exactly what that's said. So like, yeah. It's different, like, you know? He'll, he'll actually just like give up guaranteed good things all the time and do something weird instead. And it just always works out for him. And then, and then it, it makes the opponent never know what he's going to do. It, it, it really confuses them. Like that, like, why did he read a roll to the left? What was the point of that? <laughs> I will say though, of the characters that gets rewarded most for guessing, I think Puff is number one. I think Puff and Falcon can get the most for guessing. So Absolutely. Not, if you're going to, if you want to guess or make reads, I think Puff. I think they're both characters that can play very safe for those both characters that get a lot for being correct. So if you're going yeah. to play that style, these are two good characters. Those are two good characters. For Whoa! Oh! Right? You get so much because, like, for for Fox, like, there's just so many things. Like, you should just react. You know, you don't get more for guessing. You know, but for yeah. Puff, it's like making that hard read. This leads to a kill. Yeah. And Iggy has him off stage. Nope, nope. Yeah, oh, uh, no. Now she's getting up for the rest of it. Yep. <laughs> yep. No, that's bro. it, right? That